B2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Yeah, uh, what are the framework today that we are going to discuss is which is related to automation. Okay, and if you remember, we were discussing about J unit test and G. These are also frameworks, but these are the frameworks with respect to uh, uh, Java language. Okay, these are the frameworks with respect to Java language, and whatever the framework that today we are going to discuss is related to automation. Okay, both are different. These two are different. The framework, I mean, the concept is same. I mean. The word uh, framework is same, but uh, the approach are different. This, these two are called as the Java frameworks, and this what are the framework that today we are going to discuss is, which is related to automation. Okay, the concept today we are going to discuss is it's generic. You can apply the same concept in other tools too. Okay, so here uh, what is member framework? Arranging the uh, automation artifacts. Neological. Order. Okay. Here, what is meant by automation framework means? Arranging the automation artifacts in a logical order. Why we have to arrange them in a logical order? Yep. By the other way is like users of uh, frameworks mainly reusability. If you start uh, uh, arrange the automation artifacts in a logical order, basically you will get the reusability. Okay, and then the structure. Okay, it will come and uh, whenever new person comes into a team. It will be easy for them, uh, for us to, uh, you know, give an overall idea. Okay, and one more, one more is regression. So reusability, and not exactly regression. For a new team member, okay, so mainly uh, we go for automation for the reusability of the artifacts and. However, what is meant by automation artifacts over here? What is meant by auto automation artifacts? Yes, that's correct. Functions. Okay, yeah, that's correct. I can see a good good guesses. Yes, our scripts. Okay, and if you read uh, Excel, read was a kind of a function library. If you remember, we uh, we were using Excel read as a function library. We were using this uh, this particular Excel read anywhere we want. Okay, this is a kind of a function library. And uh, we'll we'll probably will have this uh, jar files. We are making use of the jar files. Okay, test data. If you remember, we kept the test data uh, in the Excel files. Okay. So these these are the different kinds of uh, you know uh, automation artifacts. Okay. So we have scripts, we have function library, we have jar files, we have test data. Say so if you don't manage them manage them properly, it is a, it will it is going to be a mess up. And whenever a new team member comes into the team, whenever a new person joins the team, we will not sure how we have uh, you know 
we cannot explain uh, for the new member this is how we are like, organizing our artifacts okay so if we go for a framework where we will properly uh, organize our artifacts like we will say that you have to keep the functional libraries over here you have to keep the scripts over here you have to keep the jar files over here so there will be a specified location so if you don't have that kind of framework what will happen uh, you know uh, we'll keep uh, jar files maybe in c drive okay maybe uh, tested in d drive like this we will not have proper structure okay so that is where we generally go for automation frameworks and moreover here we have different types of frameworks data driven keyword hybrid of course there are sometimes uh, you can come across modular frameworks okay a data driven framework keyword framework modular framework hybrid framework so here in our class we are going to discuss hybrid data driven means if you remember we were created a a parameterized script where we were executing the scripts with multiple sets of values right here in our framework here Here, that's part of parameterization. Okay, uh, here here I'm talking about this multiple values. If you remember we were created a script, you know where we wrote the logic and we kept in a for loop here. I mean we were trying to execute with multiple sets of value. This this kind of scripts will be called as data driven uh, scripts and uh, you know in a framework, say in a, an application. For example, say you take a one application. For example, uh, say you take Facebook.com here. Say you have five scenarios over here. Okay. Say on this Facebook.com, say we have five scenarios. Okay. Say whenever we want to automate this um, Facebook.com, okay, for five scenarios. Okay, uh, we will not sure for all. The, I mean, if you if you say data driven framework, say if you say that you are using data driven framework uh, and Facebook.com, and say you have five scenarios. So the meaning of this data driven framework means here we have five scenarios. Each and every scenario will be like this. I mean, each and every scenario is driven by the only data. Here, if you observe here, we wrote a for loop and this script this script was driven by the data. Driven by the data in a sense. If you have ten, uh, 10 rows of data, it is going to execute with 10 rows of data with uh, with the 10 rows of data over here. Okay, so when you say data driven framework, okay, when you say data driven framework, the meaning of this one, whatever the scenario, say if you say data driven framework on Facebook.com, okay, and as we have five scenarios over here. Say each and every scenario, each and every scenario will be like a data driven. I mean, just now we were showing like, it should be like a data driven. I mean, when we say data driven framework means, you are saying that whatever the scenarios that you have in our application, all those scenarios are data driven approach, this one. Okay. In general, in reality, that is not the possible, right? I mean, for if you have five scenarios, there is no there is no requirement to you know uh, go over data driven approach for all the five scripts, right? I mean, we don't need to execute with multiple sets of values for all the five scenarios. If you have ten scenarios, we will not go for ten. for all the ten scenarios. We will not go for do, go with the data driven approach, right? So that is the reason you know whenever you come across any interview, you know, what is the framework that you are using? Okay, just simply say habit framework. Okay, uh, say even if I take my, uh, even if I, uh, uh, I used to take interviews. If I take the interview, okay, if any person says 
a data driven keyword driven that actually gives a uh, you know a kind of negative impression okay so preferable to save habit framework because in any uh, in any application you don't have a few data driven scripts you will not have a pure uh, keyword okay you will not have a pure modular so that's the reason just say hybrid framework because in any uh, in any application it will be kind of kind of combination you may have some set of scenarios on data driven and you may have uh, uh, scripts uh, by creating uh, keywords okay so whenever you come across any interview what is the framework that you are using in your automation try to answer as hybrid framework don't say data driven or keyword which gives a bit negative impression okay why because in any application you will not have few data driven scripts you will not have few keyword scripts well generally you will have a combination okay so data driven scripts means it's it's like executing multiple sets of data keyword uh, keyword is nothing but it's like a you know in general a function names or here in java we call it as method names i mean our functionality will be breakdown and for each functionality we will um, uh, give a name say for it's like a login logout okay uh, like create order like this we'll have uh, you know method names if you remember i hope uh, we have discussed as part of this test ng and gen it also where is look here login logout booking book flight here uh, modify order delete order now here i call these are the uh, these are the uh, what we say methods okay these are the methods okay these are the methods uh, and these are the keywords in terms of keyword driven framework okay man so the in terms of keyword driven framework these are the keywords login logout book flight modify order delete order these are the keywords so our functionality will be breakdown and will be uh, we will write the uh, methods like this okay so in keyword driven each and everything will be like that and uh, generally uh, will not have a, a data driven approaches in keyword okay will not have kind of data driven scripts in uh, keyword keyword means it's pure uh it's purely will be maintained with the uh, keywords like this i mean methods like this okay modular framework means it depends on the type of the application so if you are following a modular of a, a framework like the name itself is saying modular it means say uh, you have an application say for example just for example say you are automating google so as part of google uh, say we have a google search okay gmail youtube okay say google image search some some other google drive something okay it's google is a single uh, single one i mean uh, this is a main uh, name under this we have some modules right search gmail youtube image drive so here uh, in a modular framework okay if we have any modules we'll try to keep uh, uh, the structure of the framework will be the same way like google like we'll have a main folder when i say framework means don't get uh, no don't imagine a very uh, high level the framework means just it's a folder structure it is a folder structure in that folder structure we'll organize our uh, artifacts okay just a folder structure where will organize our uh, artifacts so say for this module framework we'll have a main folder saying google okay and then probably we'll have a uh, these uh, one minute yep these uh, mo modules okay and apart from this probably we may have a common module i mean if you have anything common with um, Uh, among with this if we have any anything like common for these things we will have a common folder so 
if you have anything common related to all these modules, you can have a common. Okay. This is the modular framework. But in general, we use hybrid framework. Hybrid framework is nothing but it's a combination of uh, other frameworks. Okay. And again, say when I explain the folder structure here, say now we are going to discuss the uh, folder structure of a hybrid framework. Here, uh, here we'll have different folder structures. Test data, functional uh, library, okay, and uh, what else you can have here? Scripts, and here in our framework we are going to use a UI uh, object info. I will explain what is this UI object info. So basically we are going to have uh, four main folders. Okay. So whatever the test data that we are going to create uh, will keep under this folder. Okay. Function library means whatever the function libraries that we are going to use in our project will be maintained over here. Like for example, as of now we are using Excel read. I can keep this function library over here. Okay. And here uh, uh, as part of scripts, there will be like two uh, main things. One is a uh, business. I can say business. Uh, business functions or business uh, actions. I can say. Okay. I can say business functions or actions. Uh, class name and a driver. We'll discuss a, a bit in depth uh, during the class. I mean, while we creating the framework. Okay, this is the overall structure that we are going to create a framework. Here in this in this particular uh, test data, we are, will keep the test data. Okay, test data Excel Excel file will be maintained over here. Okay, function library. Here we are going to keep uh, function uh, function library uh, functions that we are going to use in our project. One of the one of the file is Excel read, and in the scripts folder, we'll keep business actions. In this file, basically, we'll keep uh, all the application related uh, what do say we will keep all the application related uh, uh, methods like say login like login logout what do we say uh, read order like this all these methods will be maintained over this business actions and there will be a file called driver in this driver uh, the entire execution will be initiated here okay and apart from this there is something called test suite okay test suite will prepare something called test suite that we will prepare as part of test data okay test suite means where where we will configure all our uh, scenarios this test suite and driver are interrelated Probably once uh, you know, we'll, uh, while creating uh, the hybrid framework here in Eclipse, we'll probably will understand the more details. And UI object info means here this is the um, uh, folder, uh, this is the file where we'll uh, maintain all of our all of the uh, UI object locators. Okay, it means whatever say we are automating five scenarios. For all the uh, five scenarios, okay. Uh, I mean, I want to say here. Uh, say we have five scenarios, and all the objects which are relate, uh, which are uh, there in those five scenarios will be maintained over here. I mean, the locators of all those five scenarios will be maintained over here. Probably once we start creating it, you will understand this. Okay. Yep. Till this point, any questions? But now, just now you were discussing about uh, what is meant by framework. Here, uh, what are the uses of the framework? Different types of the frameworks. Okay, what are the types of packages in framework? I, actually, here if you observe here, I said it has a, a different uh, types of packages in framework. If you all agree here, I said what are the different types of uh, packages in framework? 
basically here I can say it is a folder. Instead of directly saying folder, I'm saying it is package because I want to give you a Java uh, flavor over here. Because now we are going to create a uh, framework here in Java, right? So here in Java, uh, we will not call it, call it as a folder, we will call it as a package. If you remember here I said, here I was, I have been saying folders, folders, right? Test data folder, function library folder, scripts folder, UI object information folder, right? Here I was just giving an overall idea on the hybrid framework. Okay, I did not talk um, with respect to uh, Java over here. So in terms of Java, we call these as the packages, test data package, function library package, package scripts package, UI objects information package. Okay. So these are the different types of packages that we are going to have in here in uh, here in our framework. So let me start creating a, a project here. How to create a new project? Find new. And of course here I directly have Java project. If you don't see this Java project, go for other and search for Java project. Here I'm uh, giving the name as uh, say uh, B at Southwest. Okay, I'm giving the uh, name as okay framework B at Southwest framework. Let me say finish. And what will be the next part? What we have to do over here? We have created a uh, framework. Uh, so we have created a project Java project over here. What will be the next step? It's a kind of revision for you. What is the next step? Yep. We have to uh, uh, import the Java uh, Selenium WebDriver files to this uh, project, right? So I'm right clicking. I'm configuring the Selenium WebDriver uh, uh, jar files to this project. It's pure Java project, right? Now we have to make a uh, we have to configure the Selenium web driver files over here, so I'm doing it. Let me close these things just to avoid the confusion. So I'm going to the Java build part, libraries, add external jobs, and here just this is the folder 2.4.2.40. Just you have to add these two, and again go to add external jobs, go to this lips, add all these zips lips files. Say OK here, okay. Now we have created a project, then we have configured the Selenium WebDriver jar files to this project. Okay. Now if you all agree here, as part of the hybrid framework, I will start creating with these packages, test data. Okay. Now see here I said in generic words, in general, in general automation, uh, uh, like in terms of automation terminology, I used a general name package. But here in um, uh, Selenium here in Java, we call this as a package. Okay, I earlier I used it as a folder. Okay, in terms of Java, I'm, I'm, I'm referring it as a package. So now see here, now let me create a new package here. Package name is test data. So in this package, I will maintain the test data Excel file here. Okay, then now I'm creating a function, uh, I'm creating a package called function library. Now go to SRC again. Just select the SRC, right click and say new package function lib. Okay. Now here in this function lib, see here, as I said function lib means it is, this is a package where we will keep all our function uh, function libraries. Function libraries means the, uh, the Java files are uh, the, uh, whatever the files that we use across uh, our projects. One of the file as of now we are using Excel read. Like this, say, uh, say you join any uh, company, 
uh, say they might have some two or three different types of function libraries. So you can keep all those function libraries over here. So now right away let me copy this function library Excel read here. I'm copying the Excel read. I'm pasting over here as part of function library. And now uh, I know we have to configure JXL library files too. We did not configure the JXL library file, right? What is the purpose of J JXL? What is the purpose of JXL? Here we did, we did not we forget to configure JXL file. But however, what is the purpose of uh, JXL? Here add external jobs. Go back. Yes, for re uh, reading the Excel file. <laughs> now, after that, uh, we have uh, scripts. So, we'll create a scripts folder. Here I'm going to create a package of scripts here. So can you all agree here it is saying setting build for 96? So it is running in the background here. Come on, it's taking a lot of time. <laughs>